Hi, I'm Exesis, and this is Hearts of Fine 4 by Blood Alone, where we're playing the German Reich with Expert AI. Last episode we uh, well, failed again at conquering, conquering France and uh, the Netherlands. We did, however, capitulate Belgium. So I uh, hope that we will finish these off today. And I was planning on designing some ships, but uh, we've run into a wee bit of a problem with naval experience. We just aren't getting enough of it from our convoy raiding activities. Even though we are almost constantly in a different kind of uh, kinds of combat down here. And we have done some very heavy damage on the UK. We've sunk about 2,500 convoys. We still have a few convoys left that we need to find and destroy. Now we should be able to see kind of routes they are taking. It doesn't look like we can. We should be able to with the... Uh, oh yeah, we need to be in on the naval, probably. And uh, no. We should be... We can see where they have their missions, but... Oh yeah, we probably need to... There we go. We can see where their convoy trade routes are going. So they're mostly passing through this route. So we would like to want to increase our presence down here instead of over on this side because this, uh, we are sinking a couple of ships down here too but I think it is time to divert our divert our attention a little bit down south now we had our fancy ships uh, going down here before so we've got them both back in uh... why aren't you repairing now we got them both back in port at the moment oh yeah she's moving back to or he's moving back to Schleswig Holstein we can probably set the uh, the short-range submarines. Yeah, they can actually go into the African coast here as well. I think this is fine. We can probably get rid of the Norwegian Sea, though. They're not going to have anything going through there. Denmark Strait is nice, just in case they try in case they try to skirt around our our raiders. And we do have enough, we'll just add the uh, cap bed plane here as well. We do seem to be sinking things here in the mid-Atlantic. We could maybe remove the mid-Atlantic up. No, I think it's good to keep the pressure up there too. Labrador Sea would be okay. But now we've got four task forces in, or six task forces in these four different zones. Now we do have two fleets here going to the... Uh, Reinforcing, merging with the. Uh, I don't really know which ones they're merging with. One's merging here and the other one probably there. No. Oh well, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll fill those up with new submarines in, in a moment. We do also have some. We probably don't need to have these raiders active here anymore. Do we want to have them active up? Words here. No, let's uh, deactivate these for now. Or just have them down here. We'll uh, set them, uh, send them out later on. Oh, they were already heading to Mecklenburg. Now we do have our mine laying fleet. So we've almost finished mining the Norwegian coast. We have finished mining the East and North Sea. We're also mining the Danish Straits and the Lower Baltic. These are going to help us with naval invasion defense. As we kick off Barbarossa. I don't think it's worth putting them up in the Barents Sea because this is ocean and uh, well, mines aren't really very good up in the oceans. Uh, maybe we can add that in too once we've filled in these areas. Uh, we do have some experience. Uh, air experience. Well, we don't really have anything to use it for. Could select this last doctrine just to get it out of the way. We aren't really doing any strategic bombing. Although we might want to go for a little bit of a blitz against the UK. And let's, uh, let's grab that one. It's not like we've got anything else to spend our air experience on. Land doctrines. Uh, Kampfgrupp. That will be helpful. To increase our recovery rate in organization a little bit. And I don't think we need the... Do we need the army experience for anything else at the moment? Could have a spirit of division command instead. Could have the maneuver warfare. 
increases our division speed. Uh, same with flexible organization, which also uh, decreases the org loss while moving. And that could be a useful one. Yeah, that's nothing for us. Aggressive reconnaissance, not really anything for us either, and uh, neither is the static defense. Actually, static defense would be good for in uh, for our. No, it's, no, it's not any good. It's just 10% max entrenchment. That's really nothing. And the entrenchment speed doesn't matter for the Atlantic Wall, where the divisions will be sitting still. Coordina coordination is mostly useful if you're using very large divisions. And unexpected thrust is a good uh, tactic. And preferred tactic selection. So the, if we go into tactics, we can see them here. Unexpected thrust is uh, this one here, so plus 15% movement and attacker damage. And we've also got uh, breakthrough is our best one, which is uh, movement and damage. And it also decreases the enemy damage, and blitz is also good. But uh, this one gives a little bit more damage, so I'd rather have a breakthrough anyway. And uh, by selecting something that will give unexpected thrust a higher, higher ratio if it is selected, that will mean we do a breakthrough less. So uh, as much as this one does sound very good, we're going to go with flexible organization. I think this one is more useful to us than, uh, than a doctrine at this point. We do have enough political power to pop in Rommel here as well. And uh, I guess there could be something to be said for someone else here or promoting someone, but uh, uh, Armor Division Genius. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get Rommel in here. That's a lot of extra attack and breakthrough on our tank divisions. And uh, they are our spearheads. And uh, so this uh, this should be bumping up then a little bit more. Hardness is yeah 50% there. It does look like we are short on infantry equipment for our advanced divisions, and that's no good. We should have a reinforcement set to high priority. No, it's just medium priority. Oh, we'll just uh, pop these down. So that we actually get things in for reinforcements where we are missing a lot of infantry equipment. But as soon as we manage to take out, uh, well, the Dutch probably won't have anything left for us. But the uh, the French should. So we are, and they are attacking us here. Okay, so we are regrouping then. Those three and this one. Yeah, let's uh, get you on there instead. That doesn't make sense. And then we got Sep managed to lose one of his armor divisions. But it was a motorized division we lost. Oh, all right. Uh, I accidentally reassigned one. Yeah, because it was Guderian who lost one, right? Okay. And then we have all of Sepp's uh, forces here, yes. And we don't have anywhere to get across here, and this is a large river. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this here. And we will replan from here. Uh, actually, we will go... Yeah, it's probably... No, we'll take, take them across both. We will head straight for La Rochelle. There's planes here. Should be, be able to make a nice encirclement there. Let's uh, keep the pressure up a little bit here. And this is... Uh, yeah, there we can't cancel that attack. It's not helping us. Put a few of these medals to aboard as well. I uh, wonder if we have anything else we want to spend our political power on for now. 
I think we do need to probably... No, we really don't want to go up there. How much more do we have? I think we might have to. We have everything in the field. All right. Yes, yeah, so we probably have to go up to service by requirement later on. We do have a lot of new divisions coming in though. Let's uh, hit unpause there for a little bit. We will reorganize our... Uh, why didn't you two go over there? Uh, maybe we can push in here too. Okay, so let's see how we're doing up here. It does look like we should be able to close this pocket in. Uh, you guys stay over there. And uh, then we have a couple of divisions here. We might be able to push in there. I does feel unlikely though, since it's across the street. How is this looking for us? We have, yeah, the naval attack penalty is uh, not really what we want to do here. So that attack, we will stop that for now. And uh, is there a port here? No. So we, we can leave those until Rotterdam has been taken. And they do have a lot of divisions guarding Rotterdam at the moment. We'd probably like to take Breda. Uh, let's see how we're doing in the air here. Because I think we probably need some air support to be able to crack them here. So they've got quite a few Spitfires here actually in Hurricanes. And about half their forces are pretty up to date. And we are trading now, we're losing loads of bombers. These are... Should be mostly older bombers though. And what we have there, yeah. Let's see if we can't move in another strike force from somewhere. We have heavy fighters there. These are probably quite good to keep around here. We have this main wing going in there. And the smaller one. We we'll probably need to split off. Let's grab a few of these. They should probably not be on a day and night time. And let's spread them over to this wing here and put them in there. Air superiority. I think these are the... yeah. I'll wait until they arrive, the other ones. There we go. We'll pop them in to this army for now, so we know where we keep them. Alright, there's a little bit too many in there. Let's move some of the close air support in that way instead. Uh, okay, we do need to support this attack, I think. Let's move some troops into this Yeah, Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. So they don't punch through here. And they will be encircled and uh, destroyed there. Perfect. So we need to move this army up towards here. I think Breda will be our next target. Just give us another vector on Rotterdam. Would be nice to be able to punch through here in Amsterdam as well. So maybe we will move our tanks across to be able to do that. And looks like we might need to support this attack a little bit more if we're gonna succeed getting across there. There's a port here, so this could be very useful for us. And let's support this with a bunch of infantry. And I hope they will be able to take Amsterdam. And it does look like we have a good opportunity against the Breda here now. Let's move in with a quite significant force here. Let's take those in as well. Uh, that should be fine. It would be nice to be able to split something off here. Uh, this uh, army here though, under, it's not actually under here, I want to fix this uh, Panzer army, where are you? Oh, it's all the way over there. Let's uh, move this one up to there somewhere, should be fine. Let's concentrate our Panzers, Let's see if we can't march through, there's just one division defending, we should be able to. 
That looks like Seth is in, uh, in position. And uh, we do want to support with at least one of these divisions. Should have some line around there too. Let's push in a little bit there. And uh, they are very spread out. Let's, uh, let's make a concentrated effort here. I should be able to punch through these lines. I want to move someone else up here too. And we have the uh, infantry division with tanks here. That's interesting. Okay, so we finished rocketry. Let's zoom out a little bit there. And uh, rocket propulsion holds the key to massive innovations in all three of the military branches. So we gain research bonuses for rocket technology and for jet technology, and also an extra 15% rocket research speed and construction speed. So that's the thing. Uh, the next one down here is uh, Wunderwaffe, or rocketry or nuclear technology. Now we probably need to go for Slovenia now. And that probably means we need to... Uh, Put some other uh, troops down here on the border with Yugoslavia. Let's see if we can. We should be able to withdraw these from here. And uh, this, of course, is also Yugoslavia. Uh, we can probably spread them out there. Italians uh, should drop something there, otherwise we will let's grab a few from uh, Ange here as well. I'll put them over here. They were mostly here just to prevent the uh, allies from overrunning Italy. And we all know Italy can need a little bit of a little bit of help on that front. And uh, it would be nice to just push up towards Tours. Maybe we just push straight up there and try to encircle this uh, French tank division. Okay, so they're on us there. We need to wait for those to fizzle out. Looks like we are taking Breda. They are moving in with two divisions, it looks like. Let's halt them there in the tracks. Yeah, so we can ensure that we're in a defensive battle here instead. That's a lot better for us. Uh, I think we do want to move these tanks up for the attack on Rotterdam. That was one too far. I think that's gonna help us out more. Now we might want to just check who, because we can spend the political power here. And we can uh, grant them some citations. So this is the first Panzer Division, which uh, occupied Paris, or took part in it. And uh, obviously we're gonna go for the supply consumption reduction. This will allow us to concentrate them a lot better. Now so that cost us a little bit of uh, political power. But I think uh, that's worth it. Let's see if we have any other Panzer Divisions here. We have the second Panzer Division under Sepp, who secured Namur and took part in the Siege of Liege. And we'll do the same thing here. Grant the Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves for a supply reduction. And, and then we've got the fourth here. We don't have enough political uh, power for it though, so we will hold out on that. And that should be fine. And uh, they have stopped attacking us here. So uh, next stop on the... We probably don't want to have the motorized divisions there. We want to concentrate them if possible. So let's uh, move there and uh, make a concentrated effort to attack there. Oh, they got a thousand aircraft here. Uh, we might actually just want to grab this first. Let's uh, leave at least one division behind in the defense. And, and this is across the river, of course. Uh, they have no supply there. But I'm wondering if we can send the tanks around this way instead. Let's start the assault there and we'll try to push them out. 
we're in a pretty good supply across the except in this point where we're trying to break through. And getting tours would help there too, of course. No, we don't have enough divisions here. Can these attack there? They can. We have five divisions we could try to make the crossing with. And these are pretty high strength units. We'll see what we can do there. Might be possible. Well, let's uh, move with the tanks. And we will keep the motorized there as support. That means they, they won't actually move out of this tile if we have a blue arrow or a control clicked attack. And I think we want to have these we can do the same thing as support this attack and we'll stay in place. And we are moving around. It would be nice to get dislodge some of these Dutch divisions. Yeah. I think we might have a little bit too many divisions here in training. Uh, we've got some uh, options later on. can always uh, reduce our complement in our divisions a little bit. Uh, that was an interesting arrow. Well, let's, uh, let's remove the field marshal order and uh, draw a new one. So we don't have to have an arrow going across everything. Okay, so we are in a defensive combat. This is not a good defensive combat for us. And they're attacking with us. It's probably this one division that's retreating. Let's see if we can push a little bit here. Uh, as much as I would like that, I think we're going to move with one division there and the other one's going to try to widen this. And we are crossing here as well. And once the tanks are free, oh, we'll finish the submarine snorkels as well. Uh, those will have to wait just a little bit. Let's zoom out a bit and have a look at our research tree. So we are kind of capped here on uh, experience, or we could. Wonder what bones. No, that's suspending our experience to get that earlier. Uh, we need 59 experience to be able to build our next battleships. So we will be saving that now. Our fuel supply is not looking too well. Uh, improved medium airframes could be a very good option. Do we have anything in here? We are also at the verge where this is probably even more important. And I think we want to start off with getting concentrated industry 4. And uh, then we've got the rockets here that can keep on going the rocket jet track. And the airframes here can be well, use this for the medium airframes later on. I'll probably swap this one over to industry as well. Yeah, because then we're more or less up to date. Uh, these two updates would be nice to get as well though. Especially this one. It's going to help us out quite a lot. Uh, now of course it would be nice to get all of these things done in here as well. Uh, getting uh, this one. 220 days, yeah. Okay, so we have another infantry division. Yeah, we need to swap you in there. Now, let's see if we can make an assault on Rotterdam as well. And uh, that's not going to work just by itself. So let's support that attack. How are we doing for air? No. Oh, we're in the middle of the night. That's why we don't have air superiority. Let's actually put these on uh, day and night time for now then. We have the... We only have the old bombers. Mostly. And they are doing logistic strikes and... Yeah. We should be having quite a lot of air support. They're not the best ones, are they? Yeah. Uh, we have loads here in the air. This is a very, very, very thin combat because it's, a, it's ended up into a bridge attack. Uh, because we have a terrain 
probably have some kind of uh, river crossing that is forcing us to fight even though we're not actually crossing the river. Oh, it's thrown everyone out, so we're only attacking from this tile probably. And uh, they do have the air superiority reduction there. Wonder if we could... Yeah, we just want to grab Rotterdam here. This one turned green at least. Now that we have the air, superior, air support all the time. How is our spies doing? We've got one in Berlin. The other one is probably here in Amsterdam still. And we're re-establishing that. Let's move down to Yugoslavia. Uh, that kind of sucks. But that's the way it is. Uh, we're going to have to move some tanks down in that direction too. Yeah, see they're pushing in a very hard here. Let's use our tanks and uh, see if we can support this attack from there. This is not the uh, the best situation for our tanks to be in. They seem to be suffering attrition. So grabbing this one would be very helpful. Let's make sure that we actually widen this gap up. And uh, now these divisions are on the correct side of the river. Let's just pin them in place. There we go. Tours has been taken and the supply situation is a lot better. Oh, we have to... no. Uh, depth is here. We need to fix up the front line again. And I wanna go from there. That's a very weird direction. We just wanna go straight shot for La Rocha. And there is no other supply hubs in the region. So well, we could go for Imoges, I guess. Or Limoges. Okay, so we we have arrived. Let's uh, see if we can take Lorien. Let's uh, initiate the attack. Uh, these can actually move forward, and these five will support. And we'll see if we are able to break through there. Uh, this one is turning bad. They're in a low supply, which is good. They are well entrenched. Oh, we're doing an infantry only attack now, that's why. So let's see if we can... I wanna pull out with a few of these, I think. Let some of these divisions with lower organization rest. That should free up some width for the panzers to get in. And the... Okay, we finished the artillery there again. And the Panzers are in a river crossing. Uh, it's a weird, weird thing here in uh, the Netherlands. That there's a lot of river crossings where you don't really expect them. And the question is, do we want to go for industry directly? Or do we want to go for the improved artillery? I think we go for industry. That's going to be more helpful to us in the long run. And... Uh, Anti-tank, we don't have anti-tank in very many divisions, I don't think. Uh, if we can find them. Here's the anti-tank, we have 1900 stockpiled. Uh, so we are going to have to add them in. But I will just switch this one over to the new ones. And we lose loads of production efficiency for that. But we do have a, we only use 800 of them for the moment. And we have 19 or 1800 there in stockpile, so we'll be fine. We could probably start reducing. No, we are reducing anti air there. And we are still. Yeah, we need loads more of these for reinforcements. We've got 2000 surplus of ordinary artillery. Maybe we could actually swap. Uh, we're almost up to full here. We could probably swap five of these factories over to this. And they'll end up in support equipment instead. So if we move support equipment down there and we do this and we'll actually remove them from there, I think this will be fine. Uh, the material cost for these is the same. It's just a little bit of a difference in production cost. So these are four instead of, I think these are 3.6, 3.5. And uh, we'll move the support equipment back up because we really want to have these, of course. We do have enough mechanized equipment to make those changes we need to do to the divisions. Another infantry division. 
get you up on the border with the Soviets. And it looks like we are across, so let's see if we can push down towards the hub. And United Kingdom have broken our ciphers. That's mostly the French that are here, it looks like. And that should be fine. I think we've had enough of an operational force here. And let's keep pushing. And La Rocha should actually be cut off from supply, since uh, the railway comes from Tours. So they shouldn't have any other supply than Limoges here either. Question is, do we want to go for Limoges instead? I could just pop in, widen up the front and uh, try to see if we can capture it from them. I think that's worth it. And this is a hard place to attack into. They are moving a lot of divisions through here. But we do have air superiority at least. Let's see if we can't push a little bit to the sides here as well. And to the uh, places that don't have ports of course. Let's concentrate a little bit up here. Uh, capturing Amsterdam might get them to capitulate. Amsterdam and the Hog should have them capitulated. Now we'll see where we end up. There's some really long combats going on here. Uh, this river crossing is really hurting us. Let's, uh, these are supporting another attack there. I think we will... Oh, they were attacking that direction. We will like, cut that attack. Yeah, river crossing penalty is just too much. Once we've got them surrounded, it should be fine. Uh, how are we doing here? We did manage to take Lorient. So uh, next up is Brest, of course. Uh, these are all uh, very, very, very weak divisions. So let's... Uh, See if we can't keep going there, we will uh, push across the entire front just to pin them in place and see if we can beat these. And uh, these we want to continue up to Brest. That means we have uh, this entire peninsula there besieged. We did manage to knock these out. Let's uh, do it this way and see if we can knock these divisions out. And uh, of course they don't really move and uh, move up the way you expect. Let's uh, see if we can do that. We'll just widen this one up a little bit. That should open up the uh, limoges. Let's actually go all the way. And we'll have one division encircled there too if we pull this off. All right, so we finished the uh, Nebla Velfers. These are gonna be key for our new fighters. We do have this rocket upgrade, rocketry, we don't want to use it for this one. That's a really, really, really stupid use for it. Instead, we want to use it here for experimental rockets. Now, this is a very long tech, but it is required to get to jet engines. So, uh, this is uh, the way it has to be. Uh, that's a very long research, but if we don't start it now, we'll not get them when we need them. Um... They want to send us infantry equipment and some trucks. I am very happy to take some Italian trucks. Now these two attacks I'm not expecting to succeed. In fact, we would rather they do not succeed. We just want to pin them in here for as long as possible. We want to get our tanks through here and into Brest, while these are easily beaten. And that should have all those divisions encircled up there. Let's uh, move in this direction with the motorized there. And let's uh, fortify the assault there on Amsterdam. Unfortunately, Rotterdam is the port. We do have, they have moved a lot of divisions now. They were just hiding behind there. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It looked like they just had two divisions there in Rotterdam, so... If they only had two divisions, that would be... A Absolutely perfect time to finish that off. We have cut off the Maginot line, which of course is really good news. Or good news. So this area is completely encircled now. We can uh, 
leave them and clean them up later. Uh, these four divisions will see if we can't roll down a little bit along the Swiss border here. And they, it looks like they are getting a wee bit uh, antsy here now. How far are we from capitulating them? Yeah, still, still quite some way. Uh, taking breast here would be helpful. That's 20. And I think uh, Bordeaux is another 20 and Marseille is another 10. Now hopefully Brest and Bordeaux should do it. Okay, so we have managed to widen up the gap here. Let's uh, make sure that these don't move anywhere. And let's make sure that we have some... No, you're, you're not helpful there. Uh, you are. Let's make sure that we destroy this division before it gets liberated. Hungary seeks to join the Axis. Our plight to overturn the current world order has not escaped the notice of like-minded nations. The Hungarians recognize that their best chance to carve out a prosperous future for themselves is to align with us in the common conflict, and they have therefore offered to formally join us against our enemies. The world belongs to all who are strong. So, Hungary gets to join, and legionary Romania seeks to join the Axis. This looks like it is uh, the exact same text, and uh, we will of course let them join as well. And Italy immediately calls them into war. Uh, Hungary is uh, justifying on Yugoslavia, uh, which is fine because we are also doing that. Now we do have some naval experience. No, we're not going to spend it on wolf packs. We're going to spend it on, uh, on designing new equipment. We're not going to build any of these. Uh, there, there is something to be said for for them, of course. Yeah, we need the need to support this attack, and we really need one division to uh, head over there to hold it. If we can knock rest out, that's going to be a really, really, really big bonus. We're going to fix up this attack line again. Uh, might want to see if we can pop into Limoges just on our way. So Legionary Romania joins the Axis. And I wonder if we get one for Hungary as well. Uh, this is the same text, of course. Earlier today, the German Reich and Legionary Romania issued a joint statement that the latter has now been formally granted member status of the Axis. Whether this partnership will be used for offensive or defensive purposes remains to be seen, but undoubtedly extensive joint military planning is already underway. We are stronger together. Uh, this should be fine, they can't move in there while we are moving in this direction. I am tempted to just bring the tanks into there, but I think heading straight for Limoges is going to be a better option. That's a very long combat. We do have air superiority. Do we have range? Yes. Well, almost. Let's, uh, yeah, we should have enough. That's, it's uh, just about, we don't have any air superiority down here whatsoever. So let's uh, move these aircraft. I can have them here in Paris, that's fine. We'll move them to southern France. We should have... Yeah, they don't have any airfields left here. Which means that the rest of this should be mostly clean up now. Let's uh, see if we can put some pressure on them. But now we will just push them from all sides. Let's make sure that the tanks are involved, of course. And I think we need to add some more provinces here. Uh, there should be one more there, yeah. And uh, down here. That should be fine. 38, yeah, we need those new ones. And we did manage to take rest. So now it's just a cleanup operation here too. Let's make sure that we attack them from here. Actually, let's... Uh, this and then now they are trying to break out 
Now we will use all divisions that are and not. Oh, we captured the Swedish operative. Oh, that's fine. Da, 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 da. We have military factories that are not being used. This needs to be rectified immediately. So what do we need more of? We need more of everything. Uh, infantry equipment. We should get some from the fall of France. And this is mostly from new deployments. 23,000 from new deployments. So that is fine. We are short mostly from new deployments there again. Infantry support equipment, we're going to need more support equipment. We did add two more factories to support equipment. No, we probably added five more. We can add another two there, I think. We're doing fine on artillery. And we have a lot of factories going in here, so the efficiency will be going up a lot. How are we doing for fighters? Do we have a surplus of fight? We do have a surplus at least. And that's very good. Uh, tactical bombers can probably be producing more 111s. We can be converting the 111s too. Well, we're not doing too well on close air support, it looks like. We do have. And we have 72 in stockpile here of the Junkers 87s. And those are the Bs. We probably want to be converting them into Cs, right? Now B is the latest model. Good, then we don't have to worry about this. This one seems to not always be correct. It might be a wing that, uh, that needs reinforcements for something else, though. Yeah, that's fine. Now we could be using some more heavy fighters. We will be replacing these more or less with the uh, the Fokker Wolves in not in a not too distant future. And we're not we're going to be reducing our reliance on the uh, these very soon as well. And uh, we have a good production line of these going. It's not a lot that we actually need need more of. We do have the rubber to support increased production of other things. Really need to fix the... Yeah, we're going to do that with a new airframe as well. That's probably going to be in the next episode. Don't really want to bump these up though. And let's produce some more Junkers 88s. And we'll probably upgrade this one too into a new airframe. Okay, so we want to support attack here with our tanks. We don't want to leave rest, of course. Now, these are looking bad, but both of these attacks are deorging all of their forces. We're not giving them any room to, to actually breathe. Oh, well, at least that's, uh, that was the hope. Yeah, okay, so we've managed to push them up from there. Let's make sure that we... That these can be there and everyone here that comes in there will attack this direction. Now they are pinned into one tile. Uh, Guanxi Click has capitulated. Uh, good for you. So uh, here we have uh, two tank divisions. Well, they're light tank divisions, but they're still tank divisions. And uh, looks like we have uh, 25 infantry divisions encircled. That's, uh, I guess this is our Dunkirk. And they're not getting out of here alive though. Here we go. And this is a painful, painful, painful loss for the British especially. That's a very big portion of their manpower. Uh, speaking of which, we just ran out. The war is costly. And uh, we just need to muster everything on Rotterdam here now, I think. Uh, make sure that we actually crush them too. Uh, let's uh, come back here and watch these uh, British divisions disappear. Let's uh, make sure that we've got everyone in there. Uh, they've got a fair amount of attack, our tank divisions. And of course you can build up 40 with tank divisions that will 
get an excess of 200 or 2000. Uh, triumph in France. So, this is what we have been waiting for. Now these uh, British troops should still be... No, the British ones have been annihilated. Uh, or annihilated. Um, I wonder why this one popped now. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have prepared terms with which they have agreed to. They will retain control of southern France, while we are free to occupy the rest. We will establish Vichy France. So, uh, France will be known as a Free France, and uh, they get a defeatism. And there's a bunch of uh, different ones that uh, gets here, but we form Vichy France. So, that is fine for us. Our offer to guarantee independence was accepted by Vichy France. Oh, okay. And uh, with this, Free France is almost, almost, almost capitulated. Now uh, we could probably go for Nancy. That should be possible. Let's uh, move in this direction. Mulhouse. That's a uh, level 10 fort, so now we're not going to attack into Mulhaus. Uh, these are now on the Vichy French border. So let's uh, make sure that we knock these out from there. And uh, of course, now the depth ended up in, uh, in the wrong place. Uh, that should be fine. And we'll just let everyone reallocate as needed. Uh, we can get rid of this one. And then this one here. So we have uh, Manstein here. Where do we want to keep Manstein? Probably want to move down to towards Yugoslavia. I think it's about time. Now it's uh, this is not tank country, but um, we do what we have to. Uh, soon divisions here will be. Uh, and this gives us a lot better area, of course, to, for our uh, submarines to come in for repairs, rather than having to go all the way around England to here. That will give us something to look at in the next episode as well. I was kind of hoping that uh, the Netherlands would cave. Yeah, the same thing. I think if we take one of their territories, we'll be fine here. Maybe now. And uh, here goes flight of Rudolf Hess. Deputy Führer Rudolf Hess was arrested by Home Guard soldiers in Scotland yesterday after parachuting from a heavy fighter. An accomplished pilot, he apparently flew alone across the North Sea, taking care to stay out of radar range before veering west towards Britain. Hess appears to have been taking it up upon himself to negotiate a peace treaty between Britain and Germany, although Berlin has denounced him as a madman and he has been stripped of all his political offices. British authorities have not been available to comment. Vanshin. Uh, this, of course, uh, means if you have Hess in your cabinet, you can't have him anymore. He disappears. Uh, he's not here anymore because he's disappeared. And uh, we have closed this pocket here. And uh, this, of course, is something that happened in real life. I think he died though. He got there. I can't really remember. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so one shin. Uh, let's be in pause for a little bit more. Sweden wants a non-aggression pact. No. Hungary probably wants to give us. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab a few of these. I might be able to make one delivery. Expeditionary forces from Romania and from Hungary. It's not actually a bad idea. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab these. That's eleven divisions and three divisions. I've got one infantry division, and this should be the fourteen expeditionaries. And we probably don't have a super good commander for them. Uh, he's got four attack. I think we might want to use him for something else. Yeah, here, Alfred Jodl. And let's put them on the border here with uh, 
Yugoslavia. We don't want them in a red color. I think uh, we'll have them as some kind of yellow here. And uh, oh, I don't know. Let's put the pitch pitchfork on them. Uh, we'll have them under uh, Rundstedt here. Since uh, is, these are the troops that are on the borders here. Oh, uh, Italy's gone after Greece. I completely missed that. And they've done so without having any troops on the border. Well, we don't need to have these here anymore. So let's uh, make sure that we put them down. No, that's not what we wanted to do. We want to be under... Under Ernst here. And let's remove those. And anyone... Who is not there. Let's move a few more up here, I think. Now we might want to go for a field marshal order there in a bit too. I want to make sure to see if we can't get these last two capitulations. Yes, uh, move into Rotterdam, everyone. Oh, that's is a. Uh, 18 free French divisions. And that's a really good combat. And we are marching on here as well. That's, uh, uh, that's not really where we want to go. We can probably just head for La Rochelle. That should be fine. Let's uh, make sure that we are pushing from a number of different sides here though. Yeah, that should be good enough. Let's move down there. We have someone at least defending there when we move out. Uh, probably more of them. Yes, this is uh, in risk of being encircled and we don't really like that. Less than a day and you will take... You will already be there. Yes, so we can't do that. Okay, so they will... No, we did manage to get there on time. Perfect. I did not think we were going to make it there on time. And it's not really worth doing anything here, I think. Let's just push them back into the... No, you have low supply. And with the fall of La Rochelle, I think the French are going to surrender. There we go. It controls 18% of their victory points. And there's a bunch more of British troops here. And no, let's just push there. And soon we should have there. Alright, so the French, the France has capitulated. Adolf Hitler has announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. It's only about six months late, but this is great news. Uh, now, this gave us, wow. No, uh, it read it as 141 trains, but it's only 8 trains. That's uh, not as much, wow. And 900 rifles. That's a little bit more than that. No, uh, they're almost entirely spent. Uh, of course, they probably, or Vichy France probably inherited the great majority. There's uh, still a little bit of cleanup to do down here. Uh, they do seem to hold Bordeaux. So we need to keep on moving, of course. Yes. These tanks go in there. And let's move uh, Guderian down here as well. And uh, Rotterdam should fall in just a second here as well. Now we'll have to look into this as well. We've got 290,000 there. There we go. And from the Dutch we got not very much either. A decent amount of fuel actually. Um, maybe not that much compared to what we already have. A bit of artillery and a bit of uh, infantry equipment. The Netherlands has capitulated. So 
that is also great news, of course. And we have encrypted the cipher for the UK. So now, of course, we kind of have to clear these out. So we can kind of just hang around there. Let's grab this division and uh, make sure that it's it is destroyed. We want to head for Bordeaux and then get this Dutch division and clean everything out here. I think we should make it before them. And this British division is stuck there in exile. It shouldn't be allowed to go anywhere. And what's happening here? Are they are... That's exciting. And they are allowed to attack us from there. Oh well. And let's just make sure that we have some some kind of orders here. We'll have one there and one in here. We will crush these in just a little bit. And we have this, but uh, we have dragged this episode out a little bit. But I did want to clear this out before we actually did anything. So in the next episode, we'll uh, design our ships. We've got the experience for it now. We will reorganize everything as needed. We will uh, look into our manpower, see if there's some way we can alleviate that a little bit without having to go for service by requirement. Uh, that is uh, not really where we want to be. Uh, we have lost a lot of troops in, uh, in this invasion of France. That's, we're up to 675k. And we, we have inflicted 1.82k of uh, 1.82 million casualties. Italy's also suffered a lot. But they have managed to take all of France, or all of uh, Africa. We have to work on Egypt though, so I'll have to send Rommel over there to help out with that. But uh, this is going to be all for today. So thank you very much for watching. Take care, and see you next time.